Hey guys, and welcome back to Deep Fear. When we last left off, again, everybody died. Uh, <laughs> Anna killed Danny. Um, but we have escaped with the monkey and the scientist lady, who I can't remember her name. It wasn't Sharon, was it? No. But anyway, Anthony the monkey and um, scientist lady and John are down in the Navy area. We've been told that we have five minutes to escape, which is going to be interesting. Uh, which I guess means we're really, really, really close to the end of the game, which makes sense, you know, given the fact that, <clears throat> well, everybody's dead. Uh, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Uh, I, I guess there's going to be some kind of final end boss, I suppose. I'm not really sure. But before we do anything, let's get the most important thing of the video done. And let's crack this stout. Oh, yeah. This one is a vanilla stout called Stout About It. Now, let's see if it's better than that orange stout that was terrible. Orange and chocolate stout that was terrible. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's better. That's like a, a creamy vanilla coffee. Mmm, wonderful stuff. Anywho, let's see what the hell we've got going on here. Um, it's a control panel for the docking lift. It won't operate now, no, because we've kind of like balked everything up. Uh, so we've only really... Oh, God, we've got some options here. We can go to storage. We don't need to go to storage, though. We've got passageway. We've got the barracks, which we don't need to go to. We've got a control room, which might be where we need to go. Uh, the junction room to the Sea Fox. Yeah, well, I mean, we could try going there. Now, the Sea Fox... Actually, that's number five. See, the trouble is, none of these doors... Yeah, okay, we're in the right one. None of these doors are, like, labelled, which is problematic. Like, I don't know why any of the... Uh-oh. Come get your medicine, you... Ooh! We fought one of those before. I think we may have. Yeah, he's a... He's a bouncy... Bouncy boy. It's a bouncy boy that misses his targets. Let's... Reload. There we go. Okay. That was curious. So, uh, right. So what have we got? What options do we have here? We can go to the control room. Or we can go to the passageway. Where does this door go? Oh, right. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess that answers that for us, doesn't it? Uh, oh. Can you work this? Yes, I think so. Work what? Oh. That. Damn, look at that.
Well, Captain's definitely dead. With his monster that killed him as well. John, what happened? The Navy area seems to be have flipped over. We'll have to wait for help. That is if this place holds. There should be a wireless here. Call for help with that. Radio's broken. Anthony's gone. Why? Do you worry about Anthony so much? Anthony was always alone. I grew up in an orphanage. I could never count on someone and had no real friends. Anthony's like that too. He wanted friends. I know that feeling well. We're alike in a lot of ways, and we understand each other. When I found Anthony, I felt like I had somebody. I wasn't alone anymore. He'll come back. I know. There should be parts for the radio somewhere. Maybe you could repair it with them. You stay here. Uh, okay, that was actually a really, really cool cutscene. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> this place has been flipped upside down. Um, that's awkward. If I can repair the communicator, I should be able to contact the surface. Okay, well, I mean, that's, uh, I guess we're going to go through here. An air duct. Uh, damn, I wonder where Anthony's gone. I don't trust... Oh, fuck. Hello. I kind of don't trust Anthony. I think he's going to become some kind of like weird alien mutant from beyond the moon. There we go. Also, wouldn't this be like flooding the entire area uh, or the entire sea with this kind of mutant bacteria? Uh, everything's going to be upside down now, isn't it? Let's have a little look in the barracks. Um, looks like we're safe. Ooh. A grenade. We'll definitely have that. Oh, nice. First aid kits. How many of these bad boys can we take? Oh, unlimited first aid kits. These are the actual, like, decent first aid kits, I guess. Right, so. Yeah. So the emergency aid kit is the kind of, like, weak, crappy one. 
Whereas these are the big powerful ones. Nice. Unlimited of those. Lovely. Don't mind if I do. Uh, no, we, we, we don't want any more of those. Anything else in here? Okay. Oh! Communicator Part A. Uh, well, that's... That's good. Any guns, though? Any, like... <clears throat> I don't know, phasers or grenade launchers or auto fucking mine launchers. I don't know. Anything. I guess not. Uh, so we have communicator A. I mean, I don't know how many of these communicators we need to find. Also, I guess we're going to go up the ladder. Now, it says communicator A, which uh, makes me think. Uh, oh, that there's going to be multiple of these. Oh, God. Well, that's fine. Let's light these bastards up. Come on. Come to Uncle John. Really? Really? That's all you've got. Uncle John is disappointed. So. Ooh, should we, you know what? Smoke them if we got them. We got them. Uh, where does this go? To the e pool. Uh, this could be bad. Yeah, this is going to be flooded, isn't it? Because we're now, like, upside down. Yeah, oh, hello. We have mutants. We have mutants. I'm going to very slowly get our gun out. Although... Okay, our gun does seem reasonably good against those. Ooh. Yes. Not bad. Um. Uh. Right. Well, it doesn't look like there's going to be anything in here. So, let's see if we can go through this door. We actually can. Okay. Oh, mutants. Come to Papa John, mutant. We're just going to wait for the mutant. As soon as he's in range, we're going to fill his ass with lead. Or, you know, get tired of waiting. Oh, he's not even through here. Where are you? Oh, what the fuck did you come from? Seriously? Wow, these things really are not a threat at all, are they? Seriously, man. Useless. Worthless, even. Okay, right. Well... We've still got this, so we can charge the air system. I I guess we'll charge our oxygen and we'll put down an actual proper save game as well, just because. Uh, yes. Interesting. Those green, like, yeah, they're just, they really are a non-issue. Uh, probably want to have some health too. Uh, let's just use these basic ones. Oh, okay, that was... Ah, see, the refrigerator. The door's still locked. Okay. Where does this lead? Elev don't think the elevator will... M okay, so... I guess there's nowhere we can go here? We haven't been in the freezer, though, have we? Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think we have. So we've got to go back through the e-pool. This vanilla stout is rather yummy. <clears throat> okay, so. Let's go back the way we came because I think there was another door somewhere. 
I don't like being underwater in this game. It's just very slow and sluggy, which, yeah, sure, I know. I get it, but... It just feels, like, unnecessarily slow and sluggy. So, do we have any other doors here? Well, technically... So we can't go up there, but we do have the lab. I mean, the lab seems like a reasonable place that would potentially have something for us. <clears throat> Reasonably. I actually forgot the Navy area was on, on wheels. <laughs> well, I mean on a track, I suppose. Oh, hello. Yeah, they do that, like, jumping attack. But, like, they never seem to hit you when they do that jumping attack. As I've said before with my criticism, they definitely could have made these enemies, like, a little bit more threatening. Because they just, they don't seem to do anything. I mean, I don't know what that is. That thing sounds different. Ooh. What is that? I don't know what that is. I mean, whatever that was, it's new. So, if you've got an elevator that goes down... Uh, where does this go? Right, so that, the airlock there is damaged. I won't go... Okay. So, that's the data library? It might have been. I have no... Ooh. Yeah, we could potentially go to the data library, I suppose. See if there's anything in here. Uh, ooh. Doesn't seem like there's any... Ooh, there's another vent. Uh... I have no idea what's making that sound. Oh, this is the lab. Okay. Is this bad? Yes. Well, it looks like another board on the floor there. Which is fine. This giant sack of shit. I'm gonna stay there and take his medicine. We are running out of shelves though. Which is concerning. So we have communicator part B. And I skipped that. I didn't want to skip that. Uh, you've attained the deep blue project. Top secret. Eyes only. Caution. The following has been classified top secret. Viewer must have authorization from Captain Clancy Dawkins. Well, he's dead, so yes. Those who fail to have permission will be punished in a military court. In addition, any unauthorized reports of the contents of this report to anyone outside the need to know, including military personnel, will also be punished. Report on space pod crew. On January the 5th, a space pod was recovered near the Mariana Trench in the Pacific Ocean. It is thought to be that of the Mercury Project from 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. NASA's official comment said that the space pod suddenly lost control after orbiting the Earth uh, halfway and was remotely destroyed. Ooh. It was recorded that the chimpanzee named Anthony was on board the space pod. In the recovered space pod, there was a chimpanzee on board in a near-death hibernation state. In my opinion, something happened to the chimpanzee, making the body's metabolism slow. This could be the cause of the strange hibernation state. Ah. 
Uh, I mean, it's obvious, right? So anyway, uh, report on the parasite cell. After two weeks of extensive tests, we have a clue to what kept Anthony alive. It seems to be the work of a primitive parasite like bacteria we found in Anthony's blood and tissues. Uh, so I guess Anthony is the cause of all this disease. Once this bacterium parasite or once this bacterium parasite onto a one oh parasites onto a normal cell it multiplies itself at an incredible speed until the original cells are completely destroyed by simple uh, calculation if this bacterium were to parasite onto a human being it would take over the entire body of the infected within a couple of hours this infestation is especially fast in the brain it takes less than an hour for the bacteria to take over the whole brain I've renamed this bacteria PC, parasite cell. PC is not a virus. It is a completely new organism not found on this planet. All I can say for now is that this is that it is much like the primitive parasites found on Earth. Oh, you know, they could have done a lot with that. <sighs> yeah, this could have been like Sega's T-virus sort of thing. Oh, I, I, I get... I get some missed potential. Yes, this game is rough. But if they kept it going, who knows? So, Anthony is patient zero, basically. I mean, I, go, I guess that's kind of obvious, I suppose. Um, right. I, so where haven't we been? Have we been up this ladder? Hmm. Ooh. No, I don't think we've been here. Ah. Engine room. Okay. Let's have a little look through the engine room. I mean, I, I'm guessing we're not going to get all of the files, which is disappointing. I mean, the one guide that I found for this game uh, doesn't even <laughs> cover any of the files at all. So, right. Down to 30 shells. Oh, hello. That's... A bit bigger than we're used to. Um, can we? We c the trouble is we can't actually back away from this thing. <sighs> if that was a boss, I'm not impressed. Okay, so communicator part C, I guess. Is that all of them? Ooh, some sort of device. There's no keyhole here. Uh, that's some. Oh, that's unfortunate. So I guess now we're going to go back. Um, is there anything in here? Because we don't have a lot of ammo at all. We've got 18 shells left. Uh, let's go. I mean, I guess we've got this dart gun thing, but that's not really going to help us. <laughs> like at all so uh, there we go okay um I 
guess now we've just got to go back. We've got to go back through the e-pool. We can't go through the elevator though, can we? Or are we going up? I think we're going up. God damn, I'm so confused with this place. Like, every single corridor looks the same. Which is a criticism that I've had before. You know, with Resident Evil, every area looked different. Um, same with... Uh, is it going down? Same with um, Silent Hill. And indeed... Ooh. See, this is the barracks. Uh, yeah, we need to... We need to go back. Yeah, so Silent Hill was different everywhere. And so was... Fatal Frame. And most of the horror games, you know. Um... So how do we get... Ah, right, hang on. Engine room. No, we don't want to go to the engine room. E-pool. Don't want to go through the e-pool. Clean freezer. We don't want to go to the clean freezer. Passageway. Storage would be nice. Barracks, we can't go through. That's the passageway there where we came from, but... How did we... How do we get down to that passageway? Was it through the e-pool? I think it was actually. Yeah. <clears throat> through the e-pool. And then... But that... Oh, that elevator though. Doesn't work. Uh, we need to get back to the area junction. Because we... We're in the control room there. Uh, junction to the Sea Fox. Ah, oh, shit. I'm guessing... Data library. See, we could get to the data library. Laboratory. Yeah, the data library and the laboratory were, were together. Ah, oh, bloody hell. This place is a fucking maze. And I don't like it. I really don't like it. <clears throat> Need to get back to the first floor, I'm pretty sure. Right, okay. So this ladder here. No, it's not here, because this ladder is going to lead us down. And unfortunately, it's, well, I mean, technically up, but <laughs> actually down, because we're upside down. This is going to lead us back underwater. Yeah. Right. And that's going to take us to the engine room.
which the engine room was the hang on the engine room had that mysterious thing in it didn't it that said something about needing a key oh no yeah that thing's back ah fuck this we don't we don't have the equipment right yeah so need to note for self engine room is where there's a hole in the wall that needs a key okay we don't have a key but i'm assuming we will get a key <clears throat> could also really use uh, some more ammo right ah oh, we're on half an hour here guys okay so what we'll do i'm going to save the game when we come back uh fingers crossed i would have found out where we're going so yeah at the moment we're kind of stuck but give me a sec and i'll find out where we're going so thanks for watching guys and as always till next time